We're going to quickly move on now to the other fantastic news in Indian sport today. Uh, though I suspect my two guests might end up speaking about PV Sindhu as well. Um, hockey. We are in the semi-finals of Olympic hockey for the first time in more than four decades. We've beaten England 3-1. It was a difficult match. Don't let the, the scoreline um, make you b believe that it was a very easy win for India. It was anything but that. Charu Sharma joins us as does my former colleague and friend Nikhil Naz. Um, so Charu, you, you want to talk about Sindhu or you want to talk about hockey? I mean, it's been a, it's been a great day. So yeah, the choice well, is yours. Well, both. I'm greedy. Uh, but I think uh, her father, uh, Ramana, and of course the sister have, have done uh, a terrific job in giving us uh, every side of the story. And I just want to repeat in 10 seconds perhaps that uh, Sindhu's play is remarkably better than it was in the past. Now, she's won a silver in the past, only a bronze now. But as she's a far more complete player, terrific at the net. I mean, unbelievable gets at the net as well and wonderful dribble and wonderful defense as well. So that's the part of a game. And uh, stamina too, she's picked up a lot on. And as uh, her sister said, she still retains a very amiable personality. So it's great that good people still win. I mean, she's a wonderful example of sports persons remaining humble and yet doing very well at the top level. Also, a very important point made by her sister is that the next Olympics is only three years away. Sindhu was right. still young enough to maybe get another medal. So that's all great news from Sindhu's aspect. We cannot, you, you know, people cannot imagine how difficult it is for somebody from India, a girl, to do what Sindhu's gone and done. Just fabulous. Yeah. Uh, about the hockey, you know, <laughs> we don't want it to be so close and yet so far. Yeah. So let's talk about the good things after that uh, defeat against uh, Australia for any team to come back and pick themselves up and uh, march on the way the Indian team has, I mean, hats off. And of course, the quarterfinal win is a knockout situation. You know, one bad move and you're gone. This win against Great Britain, who are medalists, by the way, is fabulous as well. But, you know, what can I say? Now, hopes are raised. In the semis, they meet Belgium, who are number two in the world, a very, very good team. And, you know, sometimes the most uh, disappointing end to any tournament anywhere is fourth place. So I right. hope <laughs> fervently that that doesn't happen. But it's a, it's a very good Indian team. There's no doubt about it. I mean, they're not finishing quite as well. I don't want to sound churlish. But, uh, you know, goals are the key and they've done very well against Britain. So yeah. hopes are raised. Nothing, I think, raises still the kind of nostalgic uh, nationalism that as Indian, wins in that, hockey that do. That hockey does. Yes. I agree with you. Nikhil, uh, you know, talk us through the, 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 you know, the prospects in the next match in a couple of days from now against Belgium. Uh, how, the, how do the two sides fare up? Well, uh, you know, uh, Vishnu, had you asked me this question about a year ago, I would have said that India start as favourite. But now you'd have to say Belgium start as favourite. Uh, primarily because, I mean, firstly, I was there in Rio to see India lose to Belgium in the you know quarter-final. The same stage, they came up against a Belgium side. I witnessed that game live in Rio. It was heartbreaking. 3-1. That Belgium team was far superior. They went on to lose the final to Argentina. Since then, they had a bit of a, you know, a changeover of guard or change of guard in that sense, bringing in new players. So the next three years weren't really great for Belgium hockey right after Rio when they finished a silver medalist. But the last year, they've really turned it on when it comes to their game. They are the current, uh, you know, holders as far as the FIH uh, World League is concerned, which is like a year-long league. Uh, for my friends who are uninitiated to hockey, I, I draw a comparison to the World Test Championship, which you have, you know, teams playing each other. So the last one that we had, Belgium finished on top. So you could say currently they're the best team in the world. So you're, you're up against the best team in the world. So that's a tough challenge for India. Having said that, what we've seen, Vishnu, in these, uh, you know, knockout games so far is that Belgium, which topped their group and were looking invincible, they almost had a heart attack today against the team that finished, uh, you know, fourth against, uh, uh, third in the, I beg your pardon, in Spain, you know, which really gave them a fight. So, you know, things like that are going to be very crucial. We remember Australia finishing in top in our group, but then, you know, going down with a tough fight now to Holland, which went to the penalty corner, uh, the penalty shootout in the end. So things can happen uh, towards the end. But I think the one big change, uh, Vishnu, in the Indian team is what the coach has really done, Graham Reed has really done. He's defied all the experts like ourselves who sit, these armchair experts that you might call, that he's left the experienced players out. He didn't take the guys that were really needed to be taken. He did all of that. He took a young team, but he focused on fitness. And I guess that's the mantra. Remember, he was the coach of the Australian team and they changed hockey. That probably is the mantra. And now it's paying dividends because now you have a match after a day's gap. You really need to be fit. And if there's one thing this Indian hockey team has done, is show that prime fitness. So I'd say on the day, anything is possible. Charu, assess uh, Team India going into the match against Belgium. 
oh gosh, this is a terrible time to be churlish. But, you know, uh, at times they don't defend quickly enough. And you saw against Australia, for instance, prime example, they were so quick on the counter and the Indians just couldn't get back. So we didn't have enough numbers in defence and Australia scored a bunch of goals. But we had the great wall of India, free. didn't we? Called <laughs> CJ. Well, well, yeah, but I mean, you wouldn't call him that against Australia, would you? But he's, no. of course, a fantastic keeper, no doubt about it. But he needs others to be around. I mean, you can't have three shots at the goal because the ball travels at a million miles an hour. Yeah. And the reaction time is, you know, much less than a quarter of a second. So, it's unfair to have Shridesh, Shridesh alone in goal. I think on defence, we cannot allow people to come in from the side. In attack as well, you know, strangely, we keep trying to create these entrances from the corners as we do from the zero degree. But that's not earning us enough. A penalty corner conversion has been less than fantastic. So, all these are areas that I'm sure Reid would be looking at because if against a good team like Belgium or anybody else, you get a penalty corner, it's got to be like gold dust. Right. You've got to make it count. But unfortunately, you know, we've been a little low on that count as well. So, chances against teams like Belgium are not going to be easy. And we have to work something clever in our penalty corners because just that straight drag flick is, is a low percentage at this point of time. Uh, so, you know, these are two or three things that we need to really work on sh to shock the, uh, the Belgians. Uh, oh my God, what is this now? You know, so these new tactics need to be there. And the Indians, all I can say, Nikhil is right. They're far more fit than they've ever been before. They do a lot of running. But remember, the Belgians are fitter. So, you know, we need to put in that extra mile. Or should we say, the Indians need to make this one like a final. It doesn't matter if we lose the final because they're so tired. But they have to leave nothing on the pitch against Belgium. It's got to be 100 million billion percent or whatever, as my kids would say. Every, put everything into this match. Right. You know, fling yourself around, dive, whatever it takes. And don't worry about what will happen in the final if we've been be tired. You know, you can't afford to lose okay. now. It's a knockout. So, easier said than done, of course. Everything. Nikhil, uh, impact players for India uh, going into the next match? Uh, plenty. Uh, before I get to the impact play, one quick word, uh, Vishnu. You know, one positive. I know a lot of people, you know, looking at today's result against Great Britain. I think the one positive that came about was the fact that you got three field goals. Now, the criticism that was coming India's way is now they have forgotten how to get you those field goals. They are <laughs> getting only goals through the penalty corner with Harman Preet there or some somebody like a Rupinder Bob who is doing a great job in penalty corner. So, you said, you know, Indian hockey has been Europeanized in that sense and they're going down that way. But today, you saw three field goals, which is now very heartening uh, going forward. You talk about impact players. I think with Belgium, once you get penalty corners and, and that has been the one area that they've done really well. So, Harman Preet comes into play. You know, uh, your captain Manpreet comes into play. Rupinder, when he, how good he's going to be with penalty corner. And that one man, the great wall of India, as I call him, Shrijesh. Today, things could have been different. Uh, there was that one complete quarter where Great Britain dominated. They had multiple chances. Had they scored at that time, India could have very well been out. I think the one thing which do they need to guard against what they did today. Once they were 2-0 up, they went with that mentality you often see in football that, you know, park the bus. You don't want to score any more goals, just wait for the counter-attack. Today it worked because you got that third goal in a counter-attack, but you had loads of attacks then coming from Great Britain. I think you need to guard against this. Probably going forward, if you ever to lead, I think that aggressive, possession-based, high-impact hockey that India has been playing, they need to do that, whether you're playing Belgium, Australia, whatever you have. Charu, last thoughts, 30-40 uh, seconds, go ahead. Well, really, I mean, we'd be repeating ourselves, but, you know, uh, hockey is still very close to a very large number of, of people in the country. I don't want, you know, uh, any negativity here. Mm. And I don't want cynicism that, oh my God, they came so close and lost. I think coming to this level itself is worthy of huge appreciation. Yeah. So, if they do, God forbid, go down to Belgium, I hope the country rises as one yeah. to applaud the team rather than... Yeah, we don't want any out, more you know, bronze medal out. playoffs. There's been enough tension today with, <laughs> with Sindhu's tough. match and we don't want that again. We want this win tomorrow. Well, uh, not tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Well, let's hope that, that that happens. I'd like to thank you gentlemen very much for being with us. It's been a great day for Indian sport at the Olympics after such a long time. India in the men's hockey semi-finals, uh, one win from a medal. Two wins from a gold uh, and uh, of course PV Sindhu with a fantastic performance winning bronze today her second consecutive Olympic medal remember she won silver last time so it's been a great day for us hopefully we can keep going remember wrestling where we have some real stars hasn't even started as yet in the Olympics so we'll be watching out for that as well out of time uh, for now from all of us here goodbye